All right, our volume slides. You are already assigned slides 9 through 15, so this shouldn't take us long to go through them. As I call on people, because they did the work and already have the answers, I'm certain. 9 through 15. Oh, okay. If you had a rectangular prism that had a length of 3 units, a width of 4 units, and a height of 2 units, how many unit cubes would you need for each layer? How many unit cubes would you need for each layer? We're going to ask, uh, answer that first. So, Kenna, how many unit cubes would you need for each layer? 24. And how did you get that? 4 times 3 equals 12. 4 times 3 equals 12, and 12 times 3 equals 24. Yeah, but that's the volume. We're looking how, how many on each layer. So it's the area of the base. Length and width. <coughs> my area by multiplying length times width. 12. 12. Good. There's two questions. You answered the second one instead of the first one. So each layer would have 12 cube, cubic units, or 12 cubes. How many unit cubes would you need to fill the entire rectangular prism? Sam? 24. 24 cubes total, because there are two layers. Kenna told us, well, there were 12 each. Yeah. Elsa told Kenna, and Kenna told us that each layer had 12 cubes. And then Sam, because he actually read the problem, realized that um, there were two layers. All right, the prism shown below is to be filled with centimeter cubes without gaps or overlaps. What are the length and width of the base? Now, length and width, I always get backwards. So you're just going to tell me what two numbers go here. Um, bro. The length is 4 centimeters, and the width is 3 centimeters. Good. So 4 or 3, however you put them in here. I don't know. People do length and width differently. Doesn't really matter. And the next question it asks is, Base area. So the area of the base. The area of the base. Q. 12. Area is finding length times width. So we're finding the first layer. We're just finding out how much is on one layer. And we have 12 on one layer. How many unit cubes are needed to Fill this up. Davis. 72. 72. How did you know? Uh, well, so um, I know you're supposed to times length times width first, and then length times width, which equal 12, and then 12 times 6, which is the height. Which okay. Is 72. So. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Length plus 4 plus 3 equals 7, and 12 mm -hmm. times 7 equals we're not adding oh. length times width times height. So here it should say the height because it needs six layers is the question. 72 total cubes, but the question asks how many layers? And we can look at the height on the side and see that it's six. Volume of a cube. Oh, Noah, can you remember what a cube is? As a, as a 3D square. It is a 3D square, which means it has six faces. The length, the width, and the height are all the same. If it's a cube, the length, the width, and the height are all the same. Kind of like a, a die when you're playing Monopoly or or rolling die. Die? Dice? No, multiple of dice is die. It's called die. Yeah. Multiple of dice is die. All right, so the rectangular prism is to be filled with centimeter cubes without gaps. Determine the length, width, and area of the prism's base. So the length, width, and area of the prism's base. Jeremy, what's the length and width of the prism's base? It's a cube. 
five. Good. So the length is five. Jeremy, what's the width? Five. Because it's a cube. Length, width, and height are all the same. So the area of the base, Jeremy, length times width is what? 25. 25. So the area of the base is 25 centimeters squared. 25 centimeters squared. Next question is how many layers of unit cubes are needed to fill the prism? Mina, how many layers are we going to need to fill the prism? Five layers, excellent. So we're going to need five layers to fill the prism. Five layers to fill the prism. The prism is a cube. Which variable represents the number of layers in the unit cubes? So this is just like length times width times height, but it's all the same. So they're doing side times side times side. So now we're going to fill in the variables with the numbers we know. So, buddy, what three numbers should go here? It's the same number for all three, because it's a cube. We've already said the length and the width and the height are what? Good. They're five. So we have volume equals five times five times five. And so, Caitlin. You. Oh, Jolie. <laughs> Five times five is? 35. Times five is? 30. No. <laughs> okay, stop. Kaylee, five times five times five? 125. 125. So the volume of this cube is 125. The volume of this cube is 125. Yes, ma'am. Um, and the same as five to the third power. Good. All right, here we can use the information we just found the volume of the cube with sides that were five. And Jolie, the last slide we had volume of a cube when the sides were five. What was the volume of it? 125. Good. Well, Al says that instead of five by five by five, we make the cube 10 by 10 by 10. And he said it's going to be twice as big because each side is twice as big. So he says, Al says, the volume of a cube with sides of 10 is twice as big as the volume of a cube with sides of five. So is he being right? No, because what's the volume of a cube with sides of 10? The volume? A thousand, good. So it'd be a thousand centimeters, a thousand cubic centimeters. It'd be 10 times. And the other one is 125 cubic centimeters. So Al is way off. Bye-bye. Al needs to start coming to my tutorials. I can help Al. You mean E A A A A I? No, it's A L. Ow, that's I typed it, so I'm pretty sure I know what I put. Pia okay. built a rectangular prism with cubes. The base of her prism has 12 centimeter cubes. The total volume is 108 centimeters cubed. So now we need to know how many layers. We know the, the area of the base. Now we need to figure out how many layers we're going to need in order to make it the right size. How many layers we're going to need to make it the right size. Brooke, you seem excited to answer. The answer is 9 because 9 times 12 is plus 108. Good. The 12 tells us our length and width already. And that means it's going to have to have 9 layers of 12. So that it has a volume of 108. Is that the last one? Or? No. 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 We got two, more. two more. Two more. All right, two more. Sid built the 
rectangular prism shown at the right using one inch cubes. The prism has a base that is a rectangle and has a height of four cubes. What is the volume of the rectangular prism that Sid built? You can find the volume of a prism in cubic units by multiplying the number of square units in the base by the number, by the shape, the number of layers of its height. Each layer of Sid's rectangular prism is composed of how many cubes in each layer, Noah? Three, oh, uh, 12. 12. 12 cubes in each layer. Okay, but you had to type 12 in. That's one of the answers. Now we fill in the chart. So, Noah, we have 1, 12, 2, 24, 3. You just told me you knew the answer. Oh, up there. 32, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. How can you find the volume of rectangular prism? All right, thinking back to the last that chart you filled in. How does the volume change as each layer is added? How does the volume change as each layer is added? Sam. Okay, so... Um, So if the volume, so if the base was 10, um, and the height was, and the height was, say, 6 centimeters, um, the volume changes because every time you add 10, um, like, the amount of cubes grows taller, the amount of space left becomes smaller. Okay, good. So as you add a layer, you're just adding the area of the base, just one more layer of the area of the base. And what does the number you multiply by the height by represent? What does the number you multiply the height by represent? Awesome. Thank you, Ethan. That's the area of the base. You multiply the height by length times width, which is the area of the base. So the number you multiply the height by represents the area of the base. Is that the last one? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool.